You're watching New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. In tonight's health alert, a warning about common things we all do every day that could cause a stroke. Things like yoga, even blow drying your hair. Dr. Sapna Parikh joins us with more on how this can happen. Sapna? Well, this type of stroke often happens in young, healthy people, but most people have never even heard of it. You're about to meet two New Yorkers in their 30s. They want you to know this exists so you don't ignore it. On a Friday last September, Sean Crawford was enjoying the amusement park rides. Then he had a headache all weekend, and by Monday... Very suddenly, I lost probably 90% of my vision, and everything just went like a very milky white. 36 years old, and he was having a stroke. Sean had a dissection of his left carotid artery. It's a tear of the inner lining of the blood vessel. This is actually the injured artery. That, that injury causes a blood clot, and blood flow to the brain stops. Dr. Carolyn Brockington is director of the Stroke Center at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital. She says the roller coaster may be to blame. It's really just that you moved your head or neck in the wrong way. So it's young, healthy people. It happened to 31-year-old Lauren Teo last month. She was blow-drying her hair. When I flipped my head up, I, I felt this, like, snap. An hour later, she was dizzy and slurring her words. There are four major arteries to the brain, the two carotids in front, the two vertebral arteries in back. If any one of them is injured, you can end up with a stroke. Dr. Brockington says she sees four or five patients a month. One person was running in the park and she had a dissection because she sort of turned her head in the wrong way. Another person was doing yoga and had a dissection. Lauren still has trouble finding words. Sean has no peripheral vision on the right and still struggles with reading. The message is not to stop riding roller coasters or drying your hair. It's about knowing the warning signs. If someone develops neck pain, but in association with sudden deficit, so sudden weakness on one side of the body, or sudden problems speaking, or the face is drooping, that's the time to go to the emergency room right away. And if you catch it early, blood thinners and medication can often stabilize the problem and prevent permanent, permanent damage to the brain. Diana, Chade, back to you.